Right beneath the flight deck of America's most powerful warships lies something that could change the course of any conflict in minutes. The USS Gerald R. Ford carries weapons so advanced that a single strike mission can deliver more firepower than entire World War II bombing campaigns. These floating fortresses don't just project power, they are the power. Each one costs 13 billion and houses enough destructive capability to level entire cities. The F-35 Lightning jets on these decks can launch nuclear-grade missiles. The electromagnetic launch systems can fire aircraft into combat faster than any enemy can react. What you're about to discover about these weapons will show you why America's enemies spend billions trying to sink just one of these carriers. The numbers are staggering. America operates 11 of the world's most advanced aircraft carriers, each one a floating city with over 5,000 crew members. That's more than 55,000 personnel at sea when all carriers deploy together. But the real power isn't in the numbers. It's in the weapons these ships carry. The heart of any aircraft carrier's deadly arsenal is in its air wing. The latest Ford-class carriers can launch 160 combat sorties per day. That means 160 individual strike missions hitting targets across hundreds of miles, all from a single ship. To put this in perspective, that's more firepower delivered in one day than many entire air forces can manage in a week. If you're impressed by America's naval dominance, type proud in the comments below. The crown jewel of carrier aviation today is the F-35 Lightning II. This fifth-generation stealth fighter represents a quantum leap in combat capability. Each F-35 costs over $80 million, but what it brings to the fight is priceless. The stealth technology makes it nearly invisible to enemy radar. The advanced sensors allow pilots to see threats before enemies even know they're there. But here's what makes the F-35 truly terrifying to America's adversaries. It can carry nuclear-grade missiles. The F-35 isn't alone on these flight decks. The F-A-18 Super Hornet remains the backbone of carrier air wings. These proven warriors can switch between air-to-air -air combat and ground strikes in the same mission. They carry everything from precision Maverick missiles to devastating sidewind air to air weapons. Each Super Hornet also packs a 20 mm cannon that can tear through enemy aircraft and ground targets alike. But 2024 brought something completely new to carrier decks. The AIM-174B missile. This game-changing weapon extends the reach of American fighters like never before. Based on the proven SM-6 missile design, it gives pilots the ability to engage enemy aircraft ATEX stream ranges. Enemy pilots who think they're safe at long distances suddenly find American missiles streaking toward them at hypersonic speeds. The genius of American carrier design goes beyond just the aircraft. The newest Ford-class carriers feature electromagnetic aircraft launch systems, EMALs. This isn't your grandfather's steam catapult. Emails uses precise electromagnetic control to launch aircraft with less stress on their frames while delivering more power. The result? Pilots can take off with heavier weapons loads and return to fight again faster than ever before. The weapons handling on these ships deserve special attention. The Ford-class carriers feature 12 advanced weapons elevators compared to just three Onolder Nimtz-class ships. These aren't ordinary elevators. They use electromagnetic motors to move tons of ordnance from deep storage areas to the flight deck in minutes instead of hours. This means pilots can land, get rearmed with fresh missiles and bombs, and launch again in record time. What makes these weapons truly devastating isn't just their individual power. It's how they work together. The E-2 deprovides the eyes and ears for the entire strike group. This flying radar station can detect enemy aircraft and missiles hundreds of miles away. It then coordinates the entire battle, directing friendly fighters to intercepts while guiding strike packages to their targets. When enemy electronic warfare trees to jam American communications, the EA-18G Growler steps in. This specialized aircraft can shut down enemy radar systems and communications networks, leaving adversaries blind and deaf while American strikes hit home. The Growlers. Electronic attacks, canvassable entire air defense, networks without firing a single missile. The defensive. Weapons on these carriers deserve recognition too. The Phalanx Close-In Weapon System stands as the last line of defense against incoming missiles. This 20mm Gatling gun fires 50 rounds per second, creating a wall of tungsten that can shred incoming threats. When you see those distinctive white domes on a carrier's deck, you're looking at one of the most effective point defense systems ever created. 
The Sea Sparrow missile system adds another layer of protection. These surface-to-air missiles can intercept high-speed, highly maneuverable anti-H-ship missiles that get past the outer defenses. Then West Rolling Airframe missiles provide even more sophisticated protection, using both infrared and radar guidance to hunt down threats. But here's where American engineering really shines, the radar systems. The Ford-class carriers feature the A, SpyY-3 and A, SpyY-4 radar arrays. These aren't just detection systems. They're battle management centers that can track hundreds of targets simultaneously while guiding defensive missiles to intercepts. The radar can detect something as small as a periscope poking above the waves at vast distances. Before we explore the most classified weapons systems, take a moment to support this content. If you appreciate learning about America's military strength, please like this video and subscribe. Most viewers watch without subscribing, but your support helps us bring you more content about our incredible armed forces. Did you hit that subscribe button? The newest addition to carrier firepower addresses a modern threat drones. The 2025 deployment of the Ford Carrier Strike Group included Coyote and Roadrunner counter drone systems. These weapons can eliminate cheap enemy drones without wasting million doll missiles. It's typical American innovation. Finding efficient solutions to new problems while maintaining overwhelming superiority. The future of carrier weapons looks even more impressive. The Navy is developing collaborative combat aircraft, unmanned fighters that will fight alongside manned jets. These robot wingmen can carry out the most dangerous missions while keeping American pilots safe. Five major defense contractors are working on these systems, including industry giants like Boeing, Northrop Grin, and General Atomics. What makes these unmanned aircraft special isn't just their ability to fight without risking human lives. They can be designed for specific missions, some optimized for air-to-air -air combat, others for deep strike missions, and still others for intelligence gathering. A single carrier could deploy dozens of these unmanned fighters, multiplying its striking power exponentially. The Ford-class carriers are also prepared for directed energy weapons, military lasers that can destroy targets at the speed of light. The ships generate three times more electrical power than older carriers specifically to support these future weapons. Imagine enemy missiles being destroyed by invisible laser beams before they can even approach the carrier. The MQ-25 Stingray represents another leap forward. This unmanned tanker aircraft can refuel fighters in mid-air, extending their range far beyond anything previously possible. Strike missions that once required multiple carriers can now be accomplished by a single ship with aerial refueling support. But the true power of these weapon systems lies in their integration. The Naval Integrated Fire Control System links every sensor and weapon across the entire carrier strike group. This means a destroyer's radar can guide a fighter's missile to a target spotted by a satellite hundreds of miles above. It's like having one giant brain controlling dozens of weapons platforms simultaneously. The statistics speak for themselves. A single Ford ass carrier can engage targets over 1,000 miles away. The air wing can strike hundreds of separate targets in a single day. The defensive systems can simultaneously track and engage dozens of incoming threats. No other military force on Earth can match this capability. These court ships add another dimension to this firepower. Arleigh Burke class destroyers carry standard missiles, SM-2, SM-3, and SM-6 variants that can shoot down everything from enemy aircraft to ballistic missiles. The SM-6 can even engage ships on the surface, making these destroyers deadly to air, surface, and submarine threats. The submarine component of carrier strike groups brings underwater warfare. Capability, Virginia-class attack. Submarines can launch Tomahawk cruise missiles at land targets, while hunting enemy submarines that threaten the carrier. Their stealth allows them to operate in contested waters where surface. Ships might face too much risk. Training with these weapon system, Shappens. Constantly, American carrier crews are the best trained. Naval personnel in the world. They practice launching and recovering aircraft, in all weather conditions day and night. They drill defensive scenarios against multiple incoming threats. This training means that when real combat comes, these weapon systems perform flawlessly under pressure. The maintenance of these weapons requires incredible logistics support. Each carrier deployment involves thousands of spare parts, millions of rounds of ammunition, and hundreds of missiles. The supply ships that support carrier operations are marvels of engineering themselves. 
keeping these floating cities supplied with everything needed to project American power across the globe. Recent combat operations have proven the effectiveness of these systems. In the Red Sea, American carriers have successfully defended against hundreds of drone and missile attacks. The defensive weapons have intercepted threats while the strike aircraft have eliminated launch sites and command centers.